Well, it's only May, but with this beautiful sunny weather we've been having recently, I thought it was a perfect time to break out the uh, summer fest, refreshing summer lager. I know there's always the the delay between recording and posting. I'm guessing this video is probably going to be up in June sometime, if I were to guess, prognosticate. Um, so it might very well maybe summer by the time the video actually makes it public. But uh, anyway, so this is Sierra Nevada's Summer Fest, Summer Fest, a refreshing summer lager. I always liked the Sierra Nevada cans. They have family owned, operated, and argued over. And that seems like something that my family would do if we ran a brewery too. <laughs> uh, not I also like the fact that they're a California brewery that have a lot of uh, respect in craft brewing in general for making quality beers. Some even genre defining beers. Their Sierra, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. I believe the Sierra Nevada Pale Ale was the first beer my dad ever bought me. Um, I didn't enjoy it back then. <laughs> now I enjoy it quite a lot. You know, taste change and all that. So being a lager, I'm expecting this to be a, a uh, not a cooler, simpler, that smoother, the smooth lager flavor. Uh, not muddy, but kind of everything's faded together a little bit flavor wise. To the nose, there's some lemon hints, which are quite nice. There's also a bit of breeze, as usual. There's always a breeze around here, so uh, wind noise, I apologize for, and uh, the scents are being blown away. So who knows, I might be, be smelling the uh, neighbor to our north's barn or something. They don't actually have a barn. The barn is to our southeast, but and we smell them pretty regularly. <laughs> Raising horses, you know, country living. But yeah, kind of a a lemon smell, but it's not like a bright lemon. It's almost um, like a dried lemon and not just like dried lemon peel, but maybe if you dried the whole lemon, which gives us this, gives it this really nice, pleasant, summery fruitiness, I think. Can't say I can smell a lot of the malts going on here. Being a light colored lager, that's not entirely unexpected. What malts there are will be very lightly roasted. There's a little bit of a grassiness as well, which is pleasant. Overall, it smells very, um, very growing, uh, green, uh, though not like spring green, not like vibrant, uh, fresh new new plants green. More, okay, the fruits are starting to ripen. Uh, a few dry spells means the grass is maybe a bit drier than usual than it was earlier in the year. Um, so there might be a little bit of a dustiness to it. But really by far the dominant characteristic is this really nice like dried lemon uh, scent to it, which is really just fetching. Hmm, yeah, good. Okay, so that dried lemon character continues. And and it results in a very juicy beer that is that is bright and still has that um, not quite fresh, you know, it's been it's been aged and concentrated, dried out uh, lemon character, maybe a bit of uh, a little bit more lemon peel, uh, bitterness in it, and and then a nice, like a cracker malt finish. And just this thinnest hint of lingering, refreshing, beautiful, dancing palate bitterness. Uh, kind of, it's a, a spice over the top as it finishes. This is a very refresh, refreshing beer. The generally citrus character and not sweet citrus, but tart and uh, concentrated and woody citrus. Uh, it just is refreshing, super refreshing. And then the little bit of finish of the malt 
just reminds you, yeah, this is still a beer. And, and then that finishing kind of hop character across the top. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's, it's surprisingly active for a lager, especially for a, a light colored lager. Um, there's a lot of flavor going on here. And I'm gonna guess that this is relatively strongly hopped for a lager. And that probably has a lot to do with the, the generally strong flavors coming on here. In my experience, lagers tend to be a bit more lightly flavored compared with a similar ale. And this has, this has a lot of flavor, but it's not, it's not so much flavor that it's strong or overbearing or heavy. It's all beautiful, uh, vibrant, light, fruity, citrus uh, characters that, that just, they work very nicely together. Very, very nicely together. There's perhaps some herbal note to it as well. Um, not a basil. I want to say possibly or an oregano, maybe. Uh, kind of like a dried oregano, which probably once again reinforces kind of the, the, the summer nature to it, a, a dried herb. So the herbs come out early in the year, you've picked the leaves, now they're drying, so the flavors are intensified and, and dried out. And um, that's possibly a, another layer in here as well. It's a good beer. It's a beer I enjoy quite a, quite a bit. I would definitely, I'd have to get a couple more six packs of this, um, have this on my lawnmower. It would work very nicely for that as a lawn mowing beer. But there's also, because there's a lot going on here, it works well as a kind of a, a summer celebration beer or a, just a hot afternoon savoring beer. Um, you might even, mixing this with like a, a, a juice for a shandy might work pretty well too. The kind of the, the citrus character and the herbal notes would work very nicely for kind of a, a shandy. I think that'd work pretty well. Hmm. Anyways, I'm gonna cap it there. This is me, Matthew. I have been drinking and enjoying Sierra Nevada's Summerfest, refreshing summer lager, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>